And it always gets back to China, because while we're spending billions of dollars being policemen of the world, China is spending billions of dollars a day buying the world and calling us stupid. You know, I have a lot of friends. I just sold recently an apartment for $33 million to a Chinese gentleman. They'd say to me, because they're sort of friends of mine, you know, and competitors, but friends. They're saying, Donald, we don't believe that your government allows us to do this. The one guy looks at me and says, are they stupid? And I say, absolutely, they're stupid. <laughs> so, you know, I don't blame them. It's like if you make a bad business deal, if you don't know what you're doing, you, don't, you, know, you have to blame yourself. I blame our leaders. Here we have China ripping this country off like nobody's ever seen before. And we have the president of China come a few months ago to Washington. And we give him a state dinner. Now, when people are screwing you, you don't give them state dinners. You don't do it. You heard my statement, right? I said, no, no, we're not giving dinners. What we do is we sit down in my office for a couple of hours. We either make a deal where you stop manipulating your currency or not. If we make a deal, you can have a state dinner if you want. If you don't make a deal, you take McDonald's and you go home. That's it. That's it. I drop a 25% tax on China. And, and, you know, I said to somebody that it's really the messenger. The messenger is important. I could have one man say, we're going to tax you 25%. And I could say another, listen, you motherfuckers, we're going to tax you 25%. Now, you've said the same exact thing. You've said the same exact thing, but it's a different messenger. And I'll tell you what will happen with China, in my opinion. And I'm not looking to have enemies with China. You know, I actually get along. I'm a lover, not a fighter, okay? You've been reading about that for years. But, but I'll, when we have somebody that's real and tough and smart and sane, I'm not saying, I'm saying smart. And you say to China, I'm sorry, we're going to have to put a 25% tax on your products. They'll say, when? I said, how about this evening? <laughs> Not like, you know, they have, the, everybody knows they're abusing us. Everybody knows what's going on. Everybody knows they are manipulating their currencies. We're going to charge 25%. Now, the real number, based on the manipulation, it's so severe that the real number should be 45%. But 25, let's start with 25. We can always raise it. I'll tell you what's going to happen. When they believe the message, they don't believe it right now. When they believe the message, they're going to do one thing. They're going to give us anything they want. You know, when you go to China and you want to sell stuff in China, they make you build a plant and they take all your technology. When the Chinese sell to us, oh, just come on in. Come on in, folks. We'll pay you whatever. To we are so stupid. It's unbelievable. So under the Trump doctrine, it doesn't work that way. In China and other countries, they just burn whatever the hell is available, and that smoke is spewing out of those chimneys, and those factories are cheap as hell, and they don't give a shit. If I run, and if I win, we will have a rich country again. We'll have a great country again. And you know, in a certain way, what I almost like the most, we'll be respected as a country again, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.